Hey guys, Philly Boy J here back with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make smothered baked turkey wings. What you're going to do is place your turkey wings in a bowl of water. You're going to allow them to thaw out. And to the water you're going to add some salt. Rub the salt water up against the turkey wings and let them sit until they're completely thawed out. Here are the seasonings that we're going to be using. You're going to need some thyme, some parsley flakes, some sage, seasoning salt. If you don't have seasoning salt, you can use regular salt, black pepper, onion powder and garlic powder. So make sure you have all those seasonings. You're also going to chop up one green bell pepper and one small onion into small pieces. Okay guys, now we're going to create our slurry. This is going to be our thickening agent. This is what's going to turn into gravy for our smothered baked turkey wings. I don't have that much chicken broth on hand, so I'm going to use what I do have. And I'm going to fill the rest up with water. Usually I use nothing but chicken broth. To that we're going to add our flour. Sometimes I use cornstarch, but I'm going to use flour today. We're going to stir that in. Okay guys, so what you're going to do now is get your baking pan, we're going to add our turkey wings to this baking pan, we're going to get ready to season them, add these bad boys to the baking pan, I'm making six, but the amounts that I'm using can work for eight turkey wings. So we're going to add our seasoning salt. Like I said, if you don't have seasoning salt, you can use regular salt or even adobo seasoning. We're going to add our parsley flakes. Okay. We're going to add our garlic powder our onion powder our thyme leaves our black pepper and Something a lot of people don't use, sage. We're going to add our onions and green peppers and then massage this in. We're going to add our two chicken favor bouillon cubes. They're going to melt, obviously, as you know. And I'm going to add some butter. Didn't mention that in the beginning because you guys know I put butter on all my meat when I bake it.
right? That just adds flavor. If you're trying to eat healthy, I will leave that out. Preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Let it get nice and hot. And we're going to add our slurry now. This is what's going to create our gravy. All right. Cover this with the lid if you're using a rosin pan or with aluminum for you. That's what's going to get the turkey wings nice and tender. And I like to bake my turkey wings for a pretty long time because I want them to be really tender and fall off the bone. And by the way, guys, for the full recipe, visit my website, phillyjcooking.com. Okay guys, so they're nice and tender. As you can see, the gravy has thickened up. We're gonna place them back in the oven for about another 30 minutes, just so that the top of the skin get nice and brown. And then once that is done, I'll show you guys the final results. So as you can see, the turkey wings are nice and brown. We allowed them to cook after they got tender for about an additional 30 minutes and this is the way they look they're nice and tender nice and crispy and brown gravy has thickened Okay, so we're going to get ready to plate them now. These are best served with egg noodles or white rice. Here is our turkey wings. They are absolutely delicious. Pour the gravy on top. Look at that gravy, guys. These are some of the best. I said the best! It's one of the big turkey wings that you're gonna taste. Guys, I hope you enjoy this recipe. You can find it on my website at phillyjcooking.com. All the full instructions and details can be found there. I gotta cut this open. As you can see, the meat is so tender. Hope you guys enjoy. Peace.